securing Charlie. Enemy AC will duck the above. Do you hear that sound? Ever since that enemy AC-130 was called in, I'm hearing this extremely weird buzzing noise. Everyone in the party could hear it. It wasn't just me. I don't know what in the world is wrong with the game sound, but eh, I guess we'll just have to live with it until it goes away. Anyways, we're losing A. What is this? It's a quad Simtex! We gotta see that in slow motion. Wow. Just belayed it over for the quad Simtex. But anyways, on to the gameplay itself. Uh, I know this is surprising to some people, but I have not posted Modern Warfare 3 or anything to do with Call of Duty for about, you know, Two months, three months, four months, seven months, a year. Whatever the case may be, I don't know. Because I've not spoken about Call of Duty. I've not said anything about Call of Duty in the past, whatever. But anyways, I figured I'd break this one out. I need to get some gameplay off my hard drive and such and so on. So I have a story to tell later on, that is. So... Anyways, I don't know why I'm using the MK14, or at least I think it's the MK14. I don't know why I'm playing on Interchange. I don't even know why I'm doing this commentary right now, to be 100% honest with you. But, I guess some people wanted me to do this. Uh, for others that don't know, such as my new subscribers, because I know I have a few. I used to post Call of Duty, a lot of Modern Warfare 3. And, really, that's what that's all I posted before... NBA 2K12, I mean, once that took off, I never looked back. So, sports games has always been on my list. It's always been something that has expanded my channel, so that's that. But, anyways, I used to be big into Call of Duty, but for anyone who's wondering, though, I don't think I'll be posting any Black Ops 2 or anything like that. Uh, I may get the game later, Possibly, but I don't see myself really posting it and playing it that often. And I just got buzz killed one off a juggernaut, and you can just imagine how angry I was at that. If you've seen any of my videos before, live commentaries included, you'll know that I get pretty angry at this game <laughs> sometimes. And I just couldn't imagine how angry I would have been right there. I'm sure that if you ask some of my friends online that I normally play with like such as the people in this game right now I used to party up with them most nights well not most nights because you know once school started everything just started to go back to normal and that was that so you can ask them how angry I was uh, yeah but yeah I'm not sure if I'm actually going to play Black Ops 2 or anything like that, but I will try to get as many Modern Warfare 3 gameplays off my hard drive as humanly possible. I was just waiting for the perfect story to tell, which is coming up shortly. Well, I guess I'm going to tell it because I basically have nothing else to say, so here it goes. So, I couldn't hear out of my left ear whatsoever waking up on Friday morning, and this is last Friday morning. I don't know when this will go up exactly. I'm hoping it will go up on Wednesday. So, that's that. But, anyways, last Friday morning, I woke up, could not hear on my left ear. And I had no, no idea why. I tried everything there was to try to open it up and look inside. Well, I, I didn't look inside, obviously. My ears and my eyes are two separate planes. So, I couldn't really look inside there and again before I go any farther in this story I'm one off a juggernaut again uh, if it wasn't for the ballistic vest I probably would have died right there <laughs> just pointing that out so right now I'm really hesitant to move in with this PP90 I see a guy put him down on the ground he's in final stand wow that's probably one of the hardest juggernauts I've ever had to get especially after being buzz killed off one and now on my second one don't hopefully don't throw this one away either so just imagine that. I would have been so mad. But anyways, back to the story. 
and I'm not gonna get off track anymore anyways I you know I couldn't hear uh, days went past the weekend went past and I still couldn't hear out of them and I was like well it's about time we get this checked out and the first thing that I thought is well I probably had that this is probably disgusting too so probably had some wax buildup in there and I couldn't hear out of it and it was just blocked so I decided to go to the doctor get this thing checked out and as soon as I got there you know they looked inside and it's like well there's a lot of wax and I was like okay exactly and you know beforehand I tried you know q-tips I didn't of course I didn't stick the q-tip all the way in my ears just on, on the side and everything but it, it was so built up that you know I don't even, I don't even know but on to the story so what they had to do was sit me down in a stool and sort of put this gardening hose type thing in my ear and sp just spray constantly until it filled up my ear completely and the wax came out so literally they flushed out my ears <sighs> and let me just say it was one of the most weirdest experiences I have ever been in in my life like they said uh, excuse me <clears throat> they said it was going to be like taking a dip in the swimming pool you know sticking your head under water and that's that but no 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 it, it wasn't it, it wasn't anywhere close to what they said it was literally like sticking a gardening hose in my ear and unleashing water until you know stuff came out and you figured you know that that won't hurt that much but it kind of did because the pressure went up against my eardrum and made my ear or around my eardrums a little red and whatnot but that's that so I got up kind of dizzy because you know water is going against your brain almost you know I don't know how close your ears are to your brain that I know that they disconnect but anyways <sighs> finally got that fixed I can hear out of both ears and I guess it takes something like wax buildup in one ear to really appreciate what you have now so if you're in perfect health right now just appreciate what you have and not what you don't have so that's my lesson from this I hope you guys have enjoyed and as always have a nice day